Hey guys, welcome back to the second part of this grammar lesson. In this part, we will look at the differences between the present perfect and the present perfect continuous. Are you ready? Perfect, let's go. Let's take a look at the following table. First, let's look at the differences between the two structures, the two forms of the sentences. For the present perfect, we use and for the present perfect continuous, we use one use of the present perfect is that it helps us focus on the result of an action or event. For example, I have learned a lot about it from different websites. The action is completed. Or, I have read this book. The action is completed. The present perfect continuous focuses on an action or event that may or may not be finished. For example, I have been learning to drive. The action is not complete. Or, I have been reading this book. The action is not complete. When we mention the number of times an action has been repeated, we use the present perfect. The present perfect continuous also expresses an action that was not interrupted. For example, I have been writing emails all afternoon. Example two, present perfect. For example, I have written 10 emails this afternoon. And let's practice some more sentences before we finish. I have read three books on vocational training to finish this course. Jane has been reading a report on further education since last Monday. She will finish it this Sunday. Professor Wilson has been giving the same lecture to students for 12 years. Have you applied for the scholarship to study in Singapore? Excellent work everybody. That's it for our grammar lesson today. I hope you had fun. Remember, keep studying, keep doing your exercises and I will see you in the next grammar lesson. Bye-bye.